Welcome back everyone. We're not going to be talking about math for a long time in this tutorial series. So let's get into our text editors and let's talk about the if statement. The if statement is really important and really easy to understand. Let's try to imagine an if statement without code first and then we'll write some code down. An if statement is really easy to understand. It starts with an if and it is followed by a condition to be met. After the condition has been met, an action takes place. Let's take a look at another kind of if statement. Remember, if, condition, action. Can you write down some if statements? They can be whatever you want. All it has to be is an if, a condition, and then an action. Bonus points if you make them funny. Let's take a look at the if statement from a programming point of view. Basically, this is what an if statement is. See, it isn't that hard to understand. Let's take a look at a real-life example. Here we have an if statement with an int variable score. If score reaches 10, then the game is over and the player wins. Notice how there are two equal signs instead of one? This is really common in an if statement. In some languages, there are three equal signs. You will also notice that there are two curly braces after the if and the condition. This is mandatory because this tells the compiler where the if begins and ends. Also, you see those two slashes? What that means is that that is a comment, and when you comment something out, it actually doesn't run in the code. Comments are not read by the compiler. Comments are usually there to remind the programmer what lines of code do as well as reminders for later functionality. In this case, I just use it to tell what could happen in the if statement. Well, that wraps up the if statement for today. Let's talk more about if statements in the next tutorial. I'll see you in the next tutorial.